Adam of the Road, a novel by Elizabeth Janet Grey, is a vivid portrayal of medieval England during the reign of Edward III, through the eyes of an 11-year-old boy named Adam Quartermain. It is the tale of a boy who loses both his prized possession and his father, and of his incredible quest to find them. Adam lives with his father, Roger, who is a minstrel. Their life is one of wanderlust, traveling from town to town, performing songs, and telling stories for food and shelter. They do not have a fixed abode and seem content with their nomadic life. Adam loves this life on the road, learning to play the harp, recite poetry, and sing with his father. He also has a red spaniel named Nick, who is his constant companion and confidante. Their adventure begins at St. Albans School, where Adam has been left to study and wait while Roger travels to France to accompany his lord to the wars. Roger believes that the discipline and education provided by the school will serve Adam well, but the young boy yearns for the freedom of the road. At school, Adam befriends Roger Bacon, a fellow student equally passionate about knowledge, but who has a different worldview. One day, Adam's world is turned upside down when he learns that his father has not returned from France as expected. With his dog, Nick, he decides to leave the confines of school and embark on a journey to find his father. During his travels, he encounters various people from different strata of society, learning about the lives of others and the realities of the world outside his former protected life. The journey is not smooth. It is full of challenges and hardships. At a fair in Winchester, a peddler named Jenkins steals Nick, which leaves Adam heartbroken. This loss adds to the purpose of his journey. The quest now is both to find his father and to retrieve his beloved dog. Throughout his quest, Adam experiences the rich tapestry of medieval life. He meets minstrels like himself, kind-hearted monks, harsh manor lords, and gracious ladies. He participates in festivals and observes the legal system of the day, enduring false accusations and using his wit to clear his name. Adam learns valuable lessons about resilience independence, and self-reliance as he becomes adept at living off the land and the generosity, or lack thereof, of the people he meets. His travels take him to various places, Oxford, where he again meets Roger Bacon, Wallingford, where he encounters the peddler who stole Nick, Reading, where an innkeeper's daughter shows him kindness, and eventually to London. Here, in the bustling city, Adam finally receives word about his father. He has been captured and held for ransom. Feeling hopeless about the situation, Adam almost gives up. However, the tide turns when he unexpectedly crosses paths with Nick again. With renewed vigor and his faithful companion by his side, he redirects his attention towards securing his father's release. By performing and relying on the kindness of others who appreciate his talents, Adam manages to gather the ransom money needed. After a year and a day of searching, Adam's persistence pays off. His father is released, and the exhilaration of their reunion is immense. Together with Nick, they resume their itinerant life, with Adam now a much wiser and more experienced young minstrel. The road ahead stretches out before them, promising more adventures and stories to be gathered and told. Adam of the Road thus emerges as not only a tale of adventure and perseverance, but also a celebration of the spirit of medieval minstrelsy and the enduring bonds of family and friendship. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.